If you guys are looking to buy a very high overall NBA 2K19 account or Ruffles clothing or whatever you need, SportsCNB.com will have it for you. Make sure to click the link in the description. He also has Fortnite accounts in the checkout. Make sure you put Badge Plug. That would be much appreciated. And let's get into this video. Thing. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Badge Plug. And today, we've got a lot of very interesting NBA 2K20 news and stuff to talk about. But first of all, man, please drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and turn on those post notifications even if you are subscribed to guys youtube does not like sending out notifications so make sure you select all notifications guys because i'm going to be posting all the 2k20 news all the stuff that comes out leaks everything make sure you have on the notifications it's going to be very important i'm sure most of you have seen it but 2k came out the other day and their big announcement was their cover athlete and it was Dwayne wade for the legend edition and anthony davis for the regular edition now for those of you that didn't see what you can get for pre-ordering, you'll get 5k VC for the regular one, my player apparel, skill boost, but the big one is the, the Legend Edition. You get 100k, 50k MT, you get my player stuff, shoes, skill boost, packs, sapphire cards, and to be honest, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, that's, that's a pretty good deal right there, especially if you play my team, and, but if you play my team and park, then that's really, really good. But anyway, guys, what the reason why i'm even talking about this because literally i wasn't even going to show that and even though that's huge news right that's huge news i wasn't even going to show that because i know a lot of you have already seen it but that has to do with if you guys didn't see because you weren't subscribed at that time when i dropped this leaked picture right here of Dwayne wade pre-order the next 2k20 available september 6th you guys remember when that screenshot came out, let's look at it one more time. Okay, let's look at it. It says the next on it. Now, this screenshot was from like two months ago and it says available September 6th. What I'm trying to say is now we know that that leaked picture that came out was 100% legit. Whoever got it out on social media, it was legit because it says the next on it. That's 2K slogan for this year. So that means the release date for 2K20, y'all, is September 6th. Now, I have heard this, that's obviously where you can play it early. I have heard that any edition of 2K that you pre-order, you can play the game early. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's what I have heard. That's actually really good. I'm glad 2K did that because now everyone can play on launch. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if the entire 2K community is gonna be there on day one, I really hope the servers are not gonna be having problems because in 2K19, well, basically every single year when the game first comes out, there's server problems and stuff, guys. You know you know that? And that's with people getting the game early. This year, everyone's gonna be able to play. So I don't know. I really hope 2K made some improvements to their servers because remember last year, guys, or not, sorry, last year, but when 2K19 came out, how we all had negative one VC that night and we all lost our VC and everything was going crazy. Twitter was insane, bro. Everybody was upset. People were mad. It was a crazy, crazy night. But hey, I really just hope that 2K20 goes good. It's going to go good. Let's get into the next news. This guy tweeted at LD2K and he said, how come my peer playmaker gets ripped by peer stretches? And when I tap X to them, it's a foul. And I need eight assists to get takeover with microwave. And LD2K responds with that 2KU question mark. Now y'all know what 2KU is. That's where you go practice and stuff. So he was saying you need to go practice. Now, LD, Listen, I, I really like LD2K, y'all. LD, if you're listening to this video, I don't like the tweet. I don't like the tweet because it doesn't seem like you really fully understand what is wrong with ball handling in 2K19. I really do hope that that tweet is not a joke because it seems like that's coming from LD2K who passes on stuff to other developers that he thinks that ball handling is a joke because it's not a joke stretch bigs centers people who left right people who left trigger cheese people who post speed boost all that stuff they get ripped 10 times less than peer playmakers or any type of playmaker in takeover or anything you guys know what i'm talking about that i've played on a guard from a center i told you guys i've been telling y'all all year remember when everybody was talking about the two centers thing and i said it's not the shot contest the shot contest is pretty bad. It does need a little buff, and it did get a little buff, but that's not the problem. The shot contest is not the issue. The problem with these stretch bigs is that, is that they can dribble. They can do all these dribble moves. They can left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and never, ever lose the ball. Yes, you can rip a stretch. It happens. It does give you those animations, but it's so much less frequent 
than my pure playmaker getting ripped in takeover okay that should never happen it, it, if i'm a pure playmaker i should be able to do everything a stretch big does and a lot more and not get the ball stolen you see what i'm saying there's there should be no ball control issues with someone who is playmaking first but then someone who doesn't even have playmaking can sit there and hold left trigger and spin left spin right spin left spin right then do a post fade away from 20 feet and it's impossible to rip the ball from them. You see what I'm saying? For those of you who aren't too familiar with the 2K League, this guy named Eyeball Toxic, who is a verified 2K League member, he's a very, very big member in the community and was very big in the community before he even was a 2K League player, posted a video on his YouTube channel. Now, this video, guys, is everything to do with why you're watching this video. The reason why I made this. News leaked, new gameplay, NBA 2K20. Now, in his video, there's obviously not 2K20 gameplay. That's impossible for, for anyone right now to have 2K20 gameplay unless you are deep into 2K, right? But this is what I want to tell y'all, and you have to understand. Listen, if you don't know who Eyeball Toxic is, you have to understand. This is one of the most legit people in the entire community. Before he was in the 2K League, he owns the clan Eyeball. They've done various amounts of tournaments with huge cash prizes stuff like that what i'm saying is he's very known in the community for being a legit trustworthy person in his video he said that he knows someone who works at 2k he knows someone that works at 2k and they have a lot of information on the game they didn't give him an insane amount of information but they did tell him that archetypes will be coming back but will be different which i will explain in just a second and he also said that affiliations will be coming back into the game so what he said about the archetype system is that it will return to how it used to be right where we have inside outside you know neutral whatever but once you go inside you'll be able to choose from different categories inside maybe you can make it inside and outside maybe you can make you know what i'm saying there's a bunch of different things that you could do from that if just just thinking about it right away there's so many different options and honestly i'm gonna tell y'all right now if 2k made the archetype system where you can go inside out and balance then you can go inside you can make it inside then you can make it outside you can make it outside like a three-point shooter than a slasher and that's how they made the archetype system w big w y'all because everyone wants inside outside balance back but they're making it to where it's more balanced. Each archetype is more balanced. Each one can have specific things in each category that you can pick. If 2K did that, that is a huge W because not only did they take the W by bringing back inside, outside balanced, they took the W themselves by not getting rid of all the archetypes because y'all know the number, the easy solution for 2K to make the community happy is just inside, outside balanced. That's what 90% of the community wants if you don't agree with that that's fine that's your opinion but that's what most of the community wants so if 2k was to just take out the archetypes then people would be happy but y'all know 2k makes so much money off the archetypes so they're getting a dub and we're getting a dub if that's in the game y'all I'm so so excited for that oh my gosh if that is true that's insane just think about the amount of poss the so many possibilities and so many builds and different things you can make or just running through my head guys that is insane man but hey before we get into the next news if y'all haven't hit that subscribe button yet make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video for your boy let's get into it. someone tweeted at ld2k and he said when will we be getting more 2k20 news i'm excited and he said stay tuned so listen if y'all want to stay tuned make sure you click that bell right next to subscribe after you click subscribe and turn on all notifications because youtube does not like sending out notifications unless you have all of them on as soon as this 2K20 news comes out, guys, it's going to be out on my channel. I'm going to be posting 2K20 news all up until 2K20. Then we're going to be posting prelude stuff. I'm going to be helping you guys out with best jump shots, builds, everything. Y'all know how it is, bro. I'm going to be posting bash tutorials in 2K20. Everything to help y'all out and make you become better players and entertain y'all at the same exact time, bro. We're going to be doing crazy stuff, crazy giveaways very soon, crazy streams all that stuff y'all if you guys do not trust what eyeball toxic said and you don't trust me that i'm saying i trust him then that's you but if you look into the 2k community if you did your research if you've been in the 2k community for a minute now you'll you probably know who eyeball toxic is he's a very very big figure and he's 
obviously extremely trustworthy because he's won a 2k league player and before that he hosted all these huge tournaments and he did a lot of things before that that just built up his trust so guys i do believe him i think he's legit his links will be in the description to go check out the, that video and see exactly what he said it's your boy badge plug you have been plugged in and i'm out peace